What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing fantastic out there. So as the title states, we have got a button lock bonanza on our hands. We've got three Vosti button lock knives, two of which you'll be familiar with or everybody knows. The third, you probably already know by now. These are not brand new knives. Um, they're just ones that took me a little while to get, get a hold of. <clears throat> well, one of them is a, a new version of a knife that you're very familiar with. So we're just going to go ahead. I'm not going to make you sit through unboxing of three different knives. I've got them open. And we'll talk a little bit about what comes with them. Um, and then, of course, go over the knives themselves. As always, all of our links will be in the description. Um, check them out. Uh, I've got tons of affiliate links going on now. So just check everything down there if you need anything. Uh, check the links. See what's down there. But we'll go ahead and start with the first of the three. So the first one is one that we're all familiar with. And I am going to go ahead and go over the packaging a little bit. So all your Vosteeds um, do come with the typical Vosteed pouch. You get a card um, that gives you all the contact information for Vosteed. And then just your usual care and instruction pamphlet. And again, it gives you your warranty information there as well. Um, and then your pouch it comes in, you get your knife and then the microfiber. Again, all three knives will be this way. So this will be the only one you actually see me unbox here. So this is the Corgi. It's the full-size Corgi standard blade. Now, they do offer this in a Warncliffe, um, and there's probably, I don't know, 10 or so different variations, and they also even have the Corgi Pup now, which is a smaller version. Um, so this is the CDC exclusive with the pink and blue G10. So we'll go ahead and crack right on into this guy. Um, so one thing that kind of makes the Corgi stand out is the um, just kind of the uniformness of it. So it's perfectly symmetrical. You've got your pivot collar and the button for the trek lock right there in the middle and then you have again your in a straight line your pocket clip filler tab and your screw everything is really flush the only exception is the back of the screw there because the <clears throat> because the scales round down you it is a little um, you do get a little bit of that there as well same thing on the other side um, so it's not quite a deep carry pocket clip you do have a little bit of the knife sticking out no big deal there just a little bit um, sticking out, and then you do have a really nice pocket clip. Um, quarter length G10 backspacer with a lanyard pin, which keeps the clean aesthetics of the knife. Um, there's not a whole lot of room for error here. Um, very well done there. You've got a perfectly centered blade, front flipper and back flipper, jimping all the way around. Now, I would have liked to have seen them actually put the jimping in the corner there. Um, it probably could have took you know two little two jimps because sometimes you do kind of round roll, roll over the um the corner there but again not a big deal it's not a deal breaker um you have t6 and t8 hardware which we'll go ahead and check real quick <clears throat> we'll start with the t8s so you've got a t8 pivot screw which is good you can see it's just a little bit of movement there nothing crazy and then uh t8 body screws t8 body screw is absolutely perfect check the other side and same thing check our t6s on our filler tab really good there same and just a little bit of wiggle there a little bit of wiggle there so no issues there so i have uh oh, let's see hold on a second let's take a look at the blade here um so as i was saying is i have carried this knife um actually i've carried all but one of the knives you'll see tonight so they're not fresh out of the box but as close as you can get so you do have a fairly sterile blade you just got your vosteed there and your typical drop point with a swedge decent little belly on this little guy um, such a thin small almost kind of a gentleman's folder and on this side you've got your 14c and then the cdc logo blade grinds look to be pretty good pretty even there and our tip is perfect so no issues there whatsoever um, so this guy does have a little bit of button stick, which on these Trek locks, I kind of like. Um, it does break in. So um, the one I picked up for my son at uh, Blade Show Atlanta last year, I had a little bit of blade stick. And um, his has broken in to where it, it doesn't do that any longer. Um, you can take them apart and clean them. Sometimes there will be a little bit of oil in there that could cause that. Um, but uh, with his, it was, it was just it needed to break in. But that does ensure that... You've got a strong lock up on these uh, on these plunge type locks, um, like the Trek lock and uh, the other button locks we're looking at today. Um, but this one, other than that, I mean, and it's not horrible. It's it's there, but it's not like oh my god. You know, it's just it just makes it look quick when you close the blade. Um, action is right out of the box. Has been you know drop shut, super smooth. Um, 
ergonomics on this knife is kind of hard to mess up a just a just a straight handle um it's been <laughs> the handle shape's been around for forever that's kind of the you know the name of the game there just making it simple um this one has very minimal jumping you really only have it from where the flipper is there so nothing on the blade itself this is again made to be just more of a, a gentleman's folder you know just kind of a hiding in plain sight kind of thing um very comfortable handle you don't feel the pocket clip at all um yeah i'm just all in all, you know, the Corgi's been around for a little bit, so it's a it's a fan favorite, you know, you, and again, you kind of either love it or hate it, which is the case with most knives. There's very few knives where people are like, ah, I'm kind of mad about it, but um, there's a lot of knives where people are either love it or hate it, so um, it's one that my wife wanted, and, uh, you know, she likes it, and I like it, so it works out. So that is the Corgi. We'll do the weights and everything on every and a little cut test on everything right before we go. So one other thing I forgot to show that you do get uh, with the Vosteeds. Everyone you gets your Vosteeds, but this being a CDC, you do get the CDC sticker, and it varies depending on which one you get. This is the holographic CDC, and then with the CDC Corgi, you do get the um, Corgi running with the CDC themed knife and the donut behind it. So pretty cool stuff there. And like I said, we'll do our uh, cut test here in a little bit. So the next knife is one that is new to me. I did pick it up at Blade Show Texas. Um, played with it enough to where I knew I wanted one. And then just finally found a reason to get one. So this is the Thornton. And this is a collaboration with um, Wayne's Sharp World. Um, he's a fellow YouTuber. He has a, uh, a pretty large channel. Um, and he did a great job on... Um, did a great job on this knife design so um we'll check we'll go ahead and go in and check it out so it is a uh, trek lock so the difference we'll kind of show you that here in just a second um so the, the difference with the trek lock is that this the button is actually inside a track inside the blade so let's go ahead and jump into this guy so you can see the black and blue g10 it is a um it's not two pieces or anything like that it's actually just a solid piece of g10 so Let's see, there we go. So you can focus in on that. It's just the um, solid piece of G-Chan, just in two colors. And there's your button, satin button, satin hardware, um, T8 all around, except for the pocket clip screw. So it is a non-reversible. Got a, about a half-length backspacer. No, um, no landered love of any kind there. Um, you do have your liners kind of exposed there, which is pretty interesting. Perfectly centered. Pocket clip is pretty doggone deep carry. I mean, you got just a hair sticking out. Let's see. Let's check those T8s. Perfect there. And this one's got just a little bit of wiggle. And this one has got nothing. And we'll finally check our T6s. I'll get in there. Just a little wiggle and just a little bit of wiggle there too so nothing crazy uh this is the one that i have not carried so let me wipe this blade off real quick get all this residue and oil residue and junk off of the blade from its travels to me um so yeah so this is one i really do i really do like i like the blade shape i like the handle everything about it so um, so there is your uh, sheep's foot blade. So you see you've got a little bit of a curve here. So that reckon or that shows it to be a sheep's foot if you've got that curve. And then you know you've got the kind of sloping here, a little bit of swedge. And then again your typical Vosteed branding there on the heel of the blade, right by the thumb studs. And on this side, just the 14C28N, and no other branding whatsoever. And your grind there, we are looking pretty doggone good. Uh, just a little bit there. Um, not much in the way of a sharpening choil, so that would be one, you know, slight complaint. Not really a complaint, just a nitpick there. A little bit less, a little bit more of a sharpening choil, perhaps. Grind it looks to be pretty even. I'm trying to get it to reflect the right way. I have to look at it off camera. Mm, yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's see, there we can see it. There we go. So yeah, it looks a little shallow right here in the middle. Everywhere else looks pretty good. Check our tip. So yeah, it looks like we are, yeah, so we are a little steep. 
There you go, there you can see it. It's pretty good, but it is a little steep on this side. So it looks like it's kind of pointed that way a little bit towards the show side. No big deal there. Um, let's see. Go ahead and show you the... So it does have really good jumping on the front flipper. Goes down past the thumb stud, so it's going to turn into your jumping for the for the blade when you have your uh, when you have the blade open. It's going to turn into that jumping for that. So there we can see that. So when you have the knife in hand, you've got that jumping right there at the thumb stud. You have a little bit of a choke up point, but uh, it's not one that I would use on a regular basis. Very ergonomic handle. Um, it's just it's it's a fairly neutral shape. It's you know kind of one of those shapes. It's not anything crazy. Um, pocket clip is done well. Uh, Vosti does a really good job with their pocket clips, uh, you know, where they put their pocket clips, <clears throat> how they set them in. Because if this was uh, moved up to where it was perfectly flush and it was a completely deep carry pocket clip, it would actually dig into your hand a little bit. So, um, And the same thing if it was moved down. So a really well-placed pocket clip. The um, button on this one has, I mean, has very little button stick. Just, I mean, just a little bit. Great thumb stud action. So you've got a pretty discernible click, pretty discernible detent, even though, you know, button locks don't really have a detent. So going back and can't really, it's really kind of hard to check it on the, uh, on the Corgi. That's why I didn't, there's no way of grabbing a hold of the blade, but the, um, you can kind of, got to even hear it a little bit. It's got a, it's got a discernible click when you, when it breaks that, um, plunge lock. Um, so what I was talking about with the, um, being a plunge lock or being a, trick lock so you can see there you cannot see the plunge the plunge lock it's it's embedded into the blade so it's around in, into the pivot of the blade so all of this is, is flared out enough to hold the inside so there's a track inside of that blade around the pivot so on a normal button lock let's see here there we go so the standard button lock you can see the actual plunge lock itself so you can see the actual button the plunge lock and all that on a standard button lock but all right let's go back out here um again fantastic action right out of the box it's a i mean maybe if anything it's a little slow but i uh i kind of don't mind that at all um give it a little bit of a, a flick down and it just goes home right where you need it to be um, it helps too with not getting any bounce out because you can let go of the button and you have enough momentum behind the blade to to get it to uh to lay down and when you do that not getting any bounce out cause that spring is good enough and the uh the quote-unquote detent is good enough to hold it in to keep the blade sucked in <clears throat> um, front flipper works fantastic um even for my kind of stubby thumbs like I said i don't have the greatest range of movement with my thumb so sometimes front flippers can be a bit of a pain but uh works really well reverse flip works really well um just a great design um, from Wayne and uh, with this one you do get a, a Thornton sticker um, so just a, a really cool design there so the propellers are the uh, you know the, comp the compass there um, really cool really cool design on that sticker so well done there both to Vosteed and Wayne um, outside of that man there's really not a whole lot to talk about on this guy you've got really good milled liners um, there's a lot of speed holes cut in the liners um, yeah, I almost kind of feel like there should be a flipper, but I'm glad there's not. <laughs> I keep reaching for it, but, you know, with you get kind of used to that with uh, with Vosteed. You think, you know, you're, they have every opening style, but then you remember the one knife that kind of started it all for them, the Raccoon, it, uh, it has a single mode of opening. So, um, yeah, anyway, great knife. Uh, really um, substantial feel in the hand. It's not too heavy, but you do, you do have some weight to the knife, so it doesn't feel like it's um, going to fall apart on you. Again, the detent's tuned really well. For all of your opening methods um yeah great job great job on that one Paul Steed. so the next knife here uh we just kind of talked about it a little bit is the raccoon so with the raccoon you do get the wanted raccoon poster i mean sticker wanted poster sticker there we go so there are three different styles of raccoon as far as locks are concerned and then there's also Two different blade shapes now. So they do have a sheep's foot, one cliff cleaver. They call it a cleaver, but it's like a modified sheep's footy, one cliffy kind of blade. Um, outside of the locking mechanisms, these knives are identical. So you do have two button locks. This is a traditional button lock. You can see where they've moved the buttons. Let me zoom in just a little bit here. So you can see how they moved the button a little bit. 
um, so you have a little bit further down and then you are missing the secondary screw there that holds in the plate so these just have the single screw down here and then this is the crossbar lock version um, this is the CDC exclusive as is obvious but outside of the lock placement you can see again the knives are identical so we'll go ahead and roll this around so we will take a look at this version of the raccoon again this is the newest version you have the black micarta again as usual screws are done well the pocket clip tab and filler tab is done well um, removable thumb studs again fairly deep carry not super deep but fair you do have a lanyard hole there again Fosseed same pocket clip great pocket clip um, the micarta is done really well not super polished but it does give you a nice grip um, take a look at the blade so your standard drop point blade for the raccoon standard Vosteed and 14c 28n stuff there um, so these do have a pretty good sharpening choil so you got about right you know you can actually see the plunge ground really well the plunge ground ends right there so you've got a really good bit of sharpening choil that also gives you a finger choil there a little bit of jimping on the back um, nothing crazy but it is fairly functional uh, if if, it, if anything, it might be a little slick, but it is pretty functional when you do add some pressure there. It does grab pretty well. So now here's where we will go into the difference. So as you can see there, this is a button-actuated compression lock, or a top liner lock, as Vosteed calls it. Um, so you do have a legitimate detent. You've got a legitimate liner um, and a secure lockup from there. So as you know, the difference being, so here you have your standard button lock where you just have the plunge that comes in. Now, nothing wrong with this lock. So let's go ahead and back up here. So nothing wrong with this. Has a For a button lock, has a really, really good detent, um, which Fosteed's kind of known for doing. Their, their button lock stuff has got a somewhat of a decent little detent to that plunge. Allows you to really you know, get behind it. You can reverse flick these things really nicely. Um, but... that's a legitimate detent right there and you can just hear the difference in the sound i mean of course it's my card so it's going to have a little bit of a thwack to it anyway but big difference in the sound there big difference in the the detent it's got a legitimate strong detent you can still reverse flick it just very very well done knife um again difference in there and then you got your g10 here and trying to press it like a button um but the the raccoon is in general a really nice really nice knife um i'm sorry about that the dog was barking at the wind so anyway the uh the raccoon is a really incredible knife anyway like i said i've got <laughs> it's not obviously i've got three of them um i did have more but um i really really think that this is the best version of the raccoon um as far as the locks are concerned now if this was blue black blade and the their little cleaver blade or their worn cliffy whatever blade it would be the perfect one for me but um you know i'll take the uh blacked out or the, the little halloween theme here with the orange as a little uh, nod to vosteed's color um but i would love to see them do a the uh, sheep's foot worn cleaver worn foot whatever blade with a blue handle and all blacked out hardware and uh i don't know maybe even a blue thumb stud just to uh throw a little bit there if you guys seen my mini nightshade that's that's you know pretty hot too so all black with blue accents would be really good but that's just me being picky um fantastic knife all around let's go ahead and do some paper cuts here i think i've got a little bit of paper left over busted usually does a fantastic job with their sharpening so no difference here trying to just be as conserving as possible with the paper and it is of course passing with flying colors fantastic job on that from from those guys let's go ahead and check out the thornton which with a fairly high flat grind should perform really well as well so there we go fantastic very good job let's check down here towards the heel fantastic 
And last but not least, the little guy, the Quoggy. And it's the sharpest of them all. <laughs> it's uh, literally just, I mean, it's really slicey. Um, doing a fantastic job there. Kind of ran out of blade a little bit a couple of times, but yeah, yeah, that Corgi is, when I'm actually on the blade instead of on the, uh, in the heel of the blade, it is stupid sharp. So that's one thing I didn't look about on, look at on the Corgi. Um, it doesn't have much of a sharpening toil, but the plunge grind ends really soon, so you do have a little bit of sharpening toil there, but it's not a whole lot. Um, might as well throw all this paper away. So... Anyway, so to end it all, like I said, just a fantastic trio of knives here. Um, I've got zero issues with any of them. Um, the uh, Thornton, I love the design on it. And then I uh, absolutely love the new lock on the Raccoon. Um, so definitely be sure to check out Vosteed if you haven't. Hit them with the link below. And, you know, again, everybody, I appreciate y'all for coming in, watching, and then commenting, subscribing, doing all those things. As always, I appreciate y'all. Just remember to be kind, be humble, and be EDC. We'll catch you.